I express gratitude to you, all of you, brothers and sisters, in your different capacities, for the efforts invested in the preparation of this event. The efforts invested in the preparation of this event. Thank you, thank you so much. I have been uh, listening to the different leaders of the different committees and uh, uh, I really appreciate from the depth of my heart what is being done out there uh, so that this event uh, is a success. Thank you, thank you so much. And through you, Monsignor, uh, Monsignor Matthew, I would like to express gratitude to His Grace, the Archbishop, uh, for his leadership. Uh, there is probably something that has not been mentioned very clearly, and it is that uh, in the last two weeks there has been a moment of uncertainty uh, for which we were even concerned as to whether the celebration would go on or would take place. Uh, of course, due to the, <laughs> the, 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 the Ebola virus and the, all the health concerns that, uh, that are around it, there were really concerns as to whether this celebration would go on as planned. And the Archbishop has been um, very present to saying to it that things are clarified. Uh, he has been there to contact the relevant offices in the Ministry of Health. He has been in touch with the, the Nociature. He has been in touch with the relevant offices in the Vatican to assure everybody that as far as we are concerned here at Kalamo, the celebration can go on. And really, Monsignor, convey my gratitude and the gratitude of the Combon missionaries to His Grace the Archbishop. Personally, I was, I was starting to get <laughs> afraid, you know, because um, especially our confreres and some people from, from Europe, they were really asking questions. You know, we are hearing the, the cases, the numbers of cases are rising. Uh, how, how possible is it that a celebration of that magnitude goes on? And uh, to get answers to such a questions, we needed to have facts. And to get facts, we needed to get in touch with uh, responsible people. And the Archbishop had to get in touch with a minister in person uh, to have the guarantee that this celebration can go on. So we are really grateful uh, for that. As we continue this preparation, and I praise God for what is going on, a question crosses my mind, and I think this is food for reflection and thought. After the 20th of November, what next? After the 20th November, what next? One would say, of course, we have another meeting to evaluate the event, <laughs> how we have done it. But I think there is a lot more work to do after the 20th of November than we have now. I think we still have the duty to see to it that uh, we promote the values uh, for which uh, Ambrose lived, the values he himself promoted, we promote that holiness that he lived, that selflessness, that love for the most vulnerable, that readiness to serve people or to serve others without uh, claiming recognition. You know, all these things we have heard about him, all these things we have seen in him, for those of you who saw him, I think this is a, a bigger task that we have ahead of us than probably the task we are having now. Because I do believe that this place, Kalongo, is becoming 
another place altogether. It's becoming transfigured, so to say, that we are having a blessed here who, God willing, will be canonized. It is going to become another place altogether. And of course, it will not be enough for us as Gombon missionaries or as uh, members of this parish, of this region, or Archdiocese of Guru, to say we have another blessed, or we have a saint, but people will be looking at us. <laughs> no. How holy are you if you have holy people? How holy are you if you claim Ambrosoli as yours? No. I think here we have a lot of work to do. Uh, especially to promote busy values in our institutions, in our Christian communities, in our parishes, and then them. A uh, last thing, which probably is connected to what I've just mentioned, is that we have an institution here, uh, Dr. Ambrosoli Memorial Hospital, and uh, we have the responsibility to make this uh, project continue. As was mentioned by one of the speakers here, I remember whether it was one of the doctors here, that the local funding of this institution comes to something like a 13%, and a lot of funding comes from other people or other donors. But uh, I think we have to th think a lot about this facility as our facility, and especially with the beatification of Ambrosoli, that we need to pull up our socks, and we need to pull up our sleeves, and really see to it that this institution, this facility is taken to another level. As we, we have heard, I think when there is collaboration, when there is the goodwill, uh, many things are really possible. So um, I pray that even after the beatification, the same collaboration, the same dedication I have seen in the meetings we have had may continue to do more things for the glory of God and especially uh, through the intercession of Ambrosoli. Thanks, thank you so much.